Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on non-homogeneous differential equation of type 2. Why type 2? So, right hand side we are going getting a function of cos here. So, now solution. A given differential equation, we can write it as, so we have, so d square y upon dx square, we will write as d square y plus 3 times dy by dx will write ty plus 2y equal to 4 times cos square of x. So, left hand side will get a complementary function. For right hand side, we will get what here? Particular integral. So, for the left hand side, take y common. So, it will be d square plus 3d plus 2 of y equal to 4 cos square of x. So, from this bracket, we are going to get a root. So, therefore, auxiliary equation is m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. So, from this, we need to get a root. Then, we need to simplify here. So, here, the if you go for the simplification, m square plus 3m plus 2. So, the brackets, so factors for this is m plus 1 and m plus plus 2 equal to 0. So, which will be, so on simplification, so m plus 1 equal to 0 or m plus 2 equal to 0. So, again on simplification, which implies, so m equal to minus 1 or m equal to minus 2. So, therefore, the auxiliary equation roots are, the auxiliary equation roots are, m equal to minus 1 and minus 2. So, based on this auxiliary root, so we can write a complementary function. So, therefore, yc is equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x. So, this is an complementary function. So, with the help of this complementary function, so we will go for the general solution. For the general solution, for this non-homogeneous differential equation, we needed particular integral also. So, from the right hand side, we will go for what here? Particular integral. So, 4 cos square of x is nothing but phi of x value. So, let us see the particular solution now. Now, in the given question, the value of phi of x is uh, here, 4 times cos square of x. But, we do not have any uh, type 2 in the form of cos square of x. We have cos x or cos 2x, cos 3x we will get. Means cos of ax form is there. But cos square of x we do not have. For this cos square of x, we have to apply the trigonometric property. So, we know that cos square of x is nothing but it is 1 plus cos of 2x upon 2. Similarly, you have to remember here just for information sin square of x is nothing but 1 minus cos of 2x upon 2. So, but we have cos square. So, we will use this now. So, therefore, phi of x is equal to 4 will keep as it is. This cos square of x, I will write this one which is 1 plus cos of 2x divided by 2. So, this is the trigonometric formula. So, this 2 and 1, 2 cancel among this. So, phi of x is equal to 2 into bracket of 1 plus cos of 2x. So, we got our simplification of phi of x as 2 times 1 plus cos 2x. So, with the help of this, we will go for a particular integral. So, now, so the pi or yp is equal to, so it is phi of x divided by f of d square. So, which is nothing but phi of x is 2 times 1 plus cos of 2x and our f of d square that is coefficient of y in this equation is d square plus 3d plus 2. Okay. So, now what I will keep this 2 as it is outside. So, yp is equal to 2 will keep outside. So, now this 2 terms divided by this uh, will consider as 1 term. So, 1 divided by 1 divided by d square plus 3d plus 2 plus this cos 2x divided by d square plus 3d plus 2. 
okay then i will give uh, this one as equation because we have two uh, result we need to simplify so now so here yp is equal to 2 into bracket of so one we can write it as e raised to 0 into x divided by d square plus 3d plus 2 so one is the e raised to 0 into x is e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 so we have type 1 here plus cos of 2x as it is divided by d square plus 3d plus 2 so i will give equation number 1 so this is uh, first term what we got that is i will say it is p1 and this is what here p2 so particular integral 1 particular integral 2 so we'll simplify this first separately then this separately then we'll apply in the equation number 1 and we'll get a common uh, yp that is final uh, particular integral so let's see here so now i will take this uh, particular integral p1 is equal to e raised to 0 into x divided by d square plus 3d plus 2 so e raised to 0 into x this is belongs to type 1 so type 1 says replace d is equal to the value of a the coefficient of x is value of a so therefore d is equal to what here 0 in this expression so what happens here on simplification of this so p1 is equal to e raised to 0 into x divided by so d square that is 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 2 so simplification form is e raised to 0 into x divided by 0 square is 0 leave it plus 3 into 0 is leave it we got 2 so therefore our p1 will be what here so therefore p1 will be e raised to 0 into 1 is again 1 so 1 upon 2 the p1 value is 1 upon 2 so this value we got it means the first uh, integral result means a particular integral we got it now we have to think for second one now so what is second one we will see here so therefore p2 is equal to cos of 2x divided by d square plus 3d plus 2 so this is belongs to type 2 so this one is type 1 this belongs to what here type 1 i will mention it so but here we are working for type 2 in that type 2 we got type 1 so we have to go for that so now here so the value of a is the coefficient of x that is 2 so therefore type 2 says replace d square is equal to minus times a square the a, a value is 2 so a square will become 4 so we have to replace d square is equal to minus times 4 so therefore the type this uh, p2 will become cos of 2x divided by so d square will be replaced by minus 4 plus 3 into d as, as this plus 2 so on simplification p2 will become minus 4 plus 2 will become minus 2 so therefore it will become 3d minus 2 so therefore p2 is equal to cos of 2x divided by 3d minus 2 but still we have d inside here so therefore we have to rationalize the denominator so 3d plus 2 divided by 3d plus 2 so on rationalizing and simplification so p2 will become cos of 2x into 3d plus 2 divided by a minus b a plus b so the formula is what here a minus b a plus b is nothing but a square minus b square so here a square is 3d whole square minus b square is what here 2 whole square a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b so on simplification this will be cos of 2 uh, i will open this uh, bracket or else so in the next step i will open so cos of 2x into 3d plus 2 divided by so here if you open so 3 square is 9 d whole square is what here d square minus 2 square is 4 so therefore on simplification p2 will be so cos 2x into 3d it will become 3 times d of cos of 2x cos 2x uh, plus into plus is plus cos 2x into 2 is so 2 times cos of 2x so divided by so here we have again d square so replace 
d square is equal to minus 4. So, it will become 9 into minus 4 minus 4 here. So, therefore, on final simplification, so P2 is equal to 3 times d stand for differentiation. So, differentiation of cos 2x. So, it is nothing but minus sine of 2x. Differentiation of 2x is 2 plus this 2 times cos of 2x as it is divided by minus uh, uh, minus times 9 into 4 it will be 36 this minus 4 so on simplification so plus into minus is minus 3 to the 6 sine of 2x plus 2 cos of 2x whole divided by minus 36 minus 4 will be minus 40 so therefore the final value of p2 will be so if you take a minus common among in the numerator then that minus denominator cancels so if you take a, a minus common so this will become positive so it will become and as well as i will take a two common so if i take two common and a minus two i will take common so it will become a three times sine of 2x plus uh, sorry minus cos of 2x whole divided by minus 40 so minus minus cancel 2 ones are 2 2 is are here 4 so we got p2 as 3 sine 2x minus cos of 2x whole divided by 20 so this is the value of p2 so this p2 value we need to simplify here as in the equation number one so equation one becomes that is yp is equal to p1 answer we got one by two so already we have two outside the bracket you check here one so p1 value is one by two plus p2 value we got this that is three times sine two x minus cos of 2x whole divided by 20 or yp is so therefore yp you multiply this 2 so 2 into uh, this 1 by 2 will become 1 plus 2 into this 20 will become 10 here so it will become 3 sine of 2x minus cos of 2x whole divided by 10 it will become so therefore this is the value of yp so with the help of yp we have to go for the final result that is general solution the general solution is given by the general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp so therefore y is equal to yc answer we got c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to minus 2 x plus yp answer we got 1 plus 3 into sine of 2 x minus cos of 2 x whole divided by 10. So this is a required general solution of the given non-homogeneous differential equation using type 